We rented a car and we were driving around Patagonia. And at first we just saw a whole family, a whole herd of wanakos. And then we quickly noticed that one of these wanakos had feet sticking out of it. So we thought, okay, <laughs> let's see where this goes. After about 20 minutes, the wanako essentially fell out of its mother. For me, this was like the most amazing thing I had ever seen. We wanted to wait until the wanako was able to stand up on its own because when it came out, it was just this cute, slimy little lump. It was about 40 minutes that was hard to watch of him struggling to stand up and fall over. And it looks, it looks like he's even throwing a tantrum, kind of wiggling around on the ground and uh, looks very frustrated. Uh, that might be me projecting because we were so frustrated. We were, you know, you're yelling at it like you're watching a movie, like, no, no, you use your left leg. You can do it. You can do it. It was interesting seeing how fascinated we were with how nonchalant the other animals were being. Like, obviously, this is something that happens every day in the wild, but we're so disconnected from wildlife uh, in, our, in our busy modern lives that this, is, this was, like, mind-blowing. I think it's something you don't see. I think that birth and death are so hidden in, in our cultures, especially in the West and in Europe. It's not something we're privy to. It's very sanitized. Um, even animal births, you know, that's not something you don't see wild animals in your day-to-day -day life, let alone during these pivotal times. I think for other people, maybe it evoked those same emotions of fascination and worry and concern and elation. And it's all of these emotions mixed in one when you see this fragile little being plopped into the world like that. He stayed for 40 minutes and finally the baby stood up and he stayed up and and figured out within the next maybe 10 minutes how and where to nurse on his mother. So uh, it was a very rewarding experience. It's my experience that patience with wildlife always pays off. There's always going to be a payoff if you're willing to wait five, ten minutes, an hour. Something cool is going to happen.